Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries, my name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And I had a lot of energy coming back from the gym. So I wanted to go ahead and get a reading out for today. You'll probably be seeing this a little later in the day. Um, but I hope everyone is well. I'm gonna do what do you need to know. I'm using mostly tarot cards, only two oracle cards because I feel like I wanted to let the tarot speak today. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I already like the Oracle card that came out first. So let's see here. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message here for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. And cross watchers are welcome too. All right. Because these messages are getting deeper and deeper. All right. So the overall energy we have here, Aries, that we, what you need to know, you got the graveyard energy and it says unnecessary fear, unnecessary fear. So let's take a look at that. There's lots going on in the world, but to be afraid is to attract, you know, that energy to you and uh, to attract unwanted energy to you. Okay. So it says here, the stones, the mark, they mark the eternal resting place, yet the spirits, they are walking and they are ready for the chase. All right. So let's see here. This talks about, um, Today's modern graveyards are restful places, normally highly manicured and very well set out. Whilst they can be places of profound sadness, few are the creepy Gothic places of old, yet they still hold an undercurrent of fear and seem frightening places, okay? It says, when you pull this card and know that you, you fear unnecessarily, things are not as they seem and you can overcome your obstacles. The anxieties you have, although real, should be put aside before they haunt you long term. Instead, trust that you know the correct next steps and that you will act upon them. That's something that I have to remind myself too. We all have a little bit of anxiety and things that come up and you have to like immediately, hold on this, um, these commercials. It literally never fails as soon as I start. It's like YouTube can hear me. Okay. Um, so I had a moment today and this is what, this is how I trained myself to kind of think more on um, a more positive scale than negative. Um, and you know, all emotions, feelings, and thoughts are warranted. We need them all right to make decisions. Um, I know there's this trend now of people telling people you don't have to be positive to manifest. You don't have to, and that's true. We manifest all the time through every circumstance, all the time, all the time. Absolutely true. From my experience, when I changed my thinking from a more negative, anticipate the worst type of energy, that's how I used to always think. If I'm prepared for the worst, then, I mean, if I, you know, prepare myself for the worst and when it happens, then, you know, I'm prepared. Like, you know, I'm not disappointed. I'm not, you know, and all the time that was the vibration of my life, right? So when I see people telling people, oh, you don't have to think positively and da 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 and all, I think there's a place for everything, for every emotion. Feel what you feel and feel it deeply, right? Feel it deeply because every emotion has a place and it is necessary. I'm not saying don't have negative thoughts, emotions, because some of them can be helpful and beneficial. But what you predominantly think about is what you experience in your life. And that is just period. Okay. So why would you not want to have better experiences in your life? Right. Um, instead of just being told, oh, it's, you know, continue to think that have a negative mindset. It's the same thing with fear. You really have to train yourself to not be afraid, period just period. Okay. Even the things that you think are the most scariest things in this world, you have to train yourself to not be afraid and to train. You have to just know the truth. There's truly nothing that can really hurt you, right? What you die. Okay. You snap out of this body. That is nothing to be afraid of, right? We have been conditioned to fear death. We have been, we've been conditioned to fear the unknown, right? Um, and it's the unknown is the most beautiful place. Okay. 
but these unnecessary fears you have to know have a very strong influence on what you are experiencing on your day to day okay a lot of times fear looks like anger and rage and annoyance and things like that so we just have to kind of you have to watch what you are feeding your emotions into okay um because it does matter if you want to have a better quality of life in a sense it does matter what you're thinking and what you're putting out i had a thought this morning when i was coming home from the gym and i immediately stopped myself and i said no stop redirect plant a better thought and that's what i did day by day to reprogram my mind people are always thinking about the long game the how do i get from here to here that's what you do that is what you do you're manifesting money you're manifesting abundance you're manifesting whatever you know i know people want to jump all the way but if your mind is habitually negative or always thinking in worry just take it day by day step by step minute by minute you know and reprogram your mind being self-aware of what you're thinking okay a negative thought pops up that's fine stop it or if it's already happened say okay that is not true that is not true that is a thought that has been produced by worry or fear redirect it create a new one it's that simple if you do this for 30 days you will one day wake up and say wow things are different things are different okay um so i just want to say that because there's a lot of things going on in the world right now that look scary but we are going through very very real spiritual warfare type of time and this is definitely not the time to feed into that fear all right so let's take a look here at Let's use the, the the fairy tarot and see what these energies are that are coming towards you, Aries. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. I wanted to do the good things coming. I'll probably do that tomorrow. I just felt led to do this just to see what is the energies that are coming towards you that are warranting these unnecessary fears. Six of Swords. I was going to say it's usually change. Six of Swords. We have the Strength card. I'm going to keep those two together. The Empress. Wow. The Empress and the Ace of Spring. The Ace of Wands. Life Experience, which is the Tower. All right. So, yeah. Sometimes fear, a lot of times, all the time, it comes from change. Especially unexpected change. So, we have the Tower here. And then we have the nine of swords that came out with it. Fear, anxiety, stress, worry. It literally says on the card, unfounded, unfounded fear. Okay, let's pull one more here. Wow, this is interesting. They all came out in twos. Nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. All right, Aries. So six of swords, mentally moving on from a situation or having difficulties doing that. Okay, difficulties moving on from something mentally. All right, the Six of Swords talks about positive changes. Okay, it talks about mental clarity, moving to calmer waters. Okay, a welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating. And the Strength card here is this says the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful life is. Someone is going through a difficult period here of moving on from something mentally. You're doing it. You're working at it. It's a struggle. It's taking a lot of inner power, but you are doing it. Okay. Um, the Ace of Wands and the Empress here is saying that there's a new beginning, right? In your abundance, in your healing, in your growth, what you are attracting. Uh, but in order to activate this here, you have to take action. The Ace of Wands is a card of action, right? Um, and it says here, be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. And the Empress talks about time to take action, the power. Wow, that's interesting. They both say it's time to take action. That's the first line. It's time to take action, time to take action. The power of creativity, success that allows a life of luxury. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We have life experience, nine of swords, okay? The life experience card is the tower. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. And um, an important life-changing event, a situation that leads to significant opportunities. An unfounded fear focusing on worst case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem, 
nine of swords, the tower. And then the queen of pentacles, generous, stylish, gracious, practical. Be practical with respect to how you proceed, the ability to make anything more beautiful, meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. Reward yourself, and this is the nine of pentacles, reward yourself for all your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed and cherishing your time alone, okay? Cherishing your time alone. Okay, independence. I'm gonna break this down. I'm gonna read this collectively, okay? I'm gonna do this collectively. This feels like here, especially with the tower here, this could be a career change. This could be stepping out on faith here for someone trying to bring more abundance into their life. The things of the past that may have been struggling or stressing you out are fading away. But sometimes mentally we kind of hold on to those things because we've been in that energy for so long. We're comfortable in stress and anxiety. It's just the truth because you've been conditioned for so long that that is what life is like. It's hard to see life any other way. But spirit is literally asking you here to kind of with the strength in the six of swords to release that. Okay. It is difficult, but you are able to do it with the strength card. And by doing that, it's time you need to go ahead and take action on something. This is something that you've already come to awareness of a project, you know, something that you love to do, something that you're talented in. It's time for you to take action in that thing and go full throttle, full in it, all the way in it, all the way in it. Okay. Life experience in the nine of swords. Now the tower when the towers show up and appear, they usually could be very difficult, shocking changes. But I tell you what, only time the tower here really shows up in the life if it is time for a radical change and you are not making the movements or the actions towards that. So spirit comes along and helps you on your way to let go, to help you let go of whatever was toxic, whatever was hurting you, whatever was debilitating, you know, your growth in some way, a lot of it, it was crippling anxiety. It was fear of the unknown. It was a stressful, toxic relationship. It was money issues. It was a job that was not serving you. And you're holding on to that thing that is not allowing you to grow. And so that's when the tower comes in and that can look uncomfortable. That can look like you're getting fired. That could look like a divorce. That could look like, you know, even a mental breakdown, but sometimes mental breakdowns come with a lot of clarity and renewed energy. You know what I'm saying? An optimism. Something wasn't as bad as you thought it was. The worst part of it was you staying attached to it. Okay. In some cases, some cases, the very thing that was the worst thing in your life, you were holding on to for dear life. A bad marriage where you know you are not supposed to be with this person and it's holding you back right? A job where you cannot grow and flourish. And it's also causing you mental anxiety, physical ailments and, no, and creative blockages. But you're holding on to that job for dear life because society says that's the only way you're going to pay your bills, right? But I'm uncomfortable. I can't sleep. I toss and turn and I'm still living paycheck to paycheck. And some way the tower is like the divine is saying, hey, we have something divinely orchestrated on your life and you need to let go of this, but you're not letting go. So that's when the tower strikes, right? And then you have this period here with the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles of, aha, I can do this. This is working. My channel's growing. My business is growing. This is working out better than I thought it was going to work out. People are helping me. I'm getting investors. You know, money is growing for me. All of this, it, it's the same story every single time. You hear even people who are successful, they stepped down on faith. They were afraid. And you would think that when people hear this story, it would give them the courage. But they're like, well, that wouldn't happen to me. You know, that just happened to them. No, that those, that is what you have to let go of. And that's what we are working through here. That's what we're working through here together. Okay. At the bottom of the deck is the moon card, which is, is more, it could be sometimes fear, fear of the unknown, fear of what is, fear of what is hidden. So let's clarify these. Holy Spirit, Spirit has some angels, please let me give a clear message here for Aries. And just to clarify, for some of you who are entrepreneurs or even moving into a new field, there's a period of abundance that is going to come through for you once you 
boom, take action, right? Let go of something. And it may be a tower that pushes you out. Clarify the strength in the six of swords. The seven of wands. Clarify the ace of wands and the empress. The two of cups. Clarify the tower and the nine of swords. Crossing the king of cups. Clarify the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. The two of pentacles. So you're unsure, you know, is this going to work out for me? Am I going to be able to do this? The king of cups here with the life experience and the nine of swords here is this energy of feeling so the emotions here are so strong that you're afraid. You're afraid to let go of something. King of wands. King of wands. Tell me about this. And the three of wands. This tower, this tower, whatever this is in your life, is probably going to be the best thing that happened to you, okay? King of Wands can be an entrepreneur, a visionary leader, but somebody who is taking action in their field, right? And, you know, Three of Wands is a card of manifestation, waiting for the ships to come in. Something that you, this tower is pushing you to do something that you have always had this very strong emotion or intuitive feeling that you need to do, you need to gravitate to, you need to go for and it is pushing you in that direction to do it. Now, the Empress here, the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands, let's clarify, this could be somebody helping you on your path, business-wise, relationship-wise. We have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. This is a new beginning here in a relationship that is going to help you implement something that is going to bring in a lot of abundance in your life. Okay, and this could just be the abundance of love, but it's a new beginning. And it happens here after you move on from something that has been mentally plaguing you. Seven of Wands here talks about really needing to stand your ground against all of these obstacles here that are trying to pull you down. Clarify the strength in the Six of Winter. The Ten of Wands coming to the end of whatever has been burdening you, whatever has been holding you down. The moon card, there it is. The fears, the unfounded fears here and the hierophant. The hierophant represents the traditionalism of society or a job, like a traditional job, the traditional relationship here. Maybe it's some of, some of you are afraid to leave a relationship or a marriage because you don't know what's gonna come next. You want to, but seven of wands saying is, hey, you gotta fight for this. You have to do what is necessary for you to be happy. And then this could be a new love coming in after that. All right, clarify um, the life experience. Clarify the tower. The queen of pentacles. And the eight of cups. When you walk away from something, your life gets better, especially materially. Financially, your life gets better. Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. But we already saw the Queen of Pentacles over here. Nine of Pentacles, which is saying the same thing. Your independence from something brings more wealth to you. So that could be a job. That could be a marriage. It's something here where you walk away from something and your financial stability increases. High Priestess, for those of you, if this reading is for you, you know it. By the time that you got here to this point, you know it. High Priestess in the Four of Cups. And you've kind of ignored something, ignored an opportunity, ignored a vision, ignored a feeling, but it's time for you to get out of that energy and move forward here with the chariot. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope this helps someone. Take care. Bye.